here's my prediction for the future. I do think things are going to get much, much worse than Japan. I don't think Japan woke the planet up yet. Um, I think millions of people are still going to die. They, nobody has to. Everything can be solved so friggin' fast if we went into a completely different direction than the road we're going down. But we're like a herd of cattle going down one straight path. There's a million different directions we could be going down, but we want to go down that path off the cliff. So what's got to happen is we've got to see a lot of people you know, be off that cliff and die um, before we start to see that this is a really bad direction. But once us humans figure out bad direction and we start to comprehend that there is a different direction, then we'll take that one. So I do see that things, if, one of the biggest things is I got kids. And I didn't raise them to live in this kind of world. I didn't know things were this bad. So when I hear all of the doom and gloom stories, when I hear of all of the problems going on, when I see a friggin' election that you can tell if those are their platforms, their platforms are saying, go off the cliff simply because nobody's understanding the problem yet. And um, experienced a life full of problems. And the one beauty thing is, if you understand enough of them, and you really are good at solving problems, in order to solve a problem, you gotta understand your, you gotta understand the problem inside and out. So thankfully, I've endured just enough um, really bad shit to understand the problem that it is a global thing. The problem that I have to solve within my own experience happens to be a global picture. I've seen this when it was affecting my family life. When it affected my family and I'm thinking, okay, how do I solve this problem? How do, you know, how does everybody win? in this scenario and uh, understanding it is, is it, society had more of an influence on my family to believe the shit that they believe in um they were believing in religion they were believing in doctors they were believing in a court system they believed in an education system they believed in a government system it, you know a justice system you name the system, and it wasn't exactly what they said they were going to be. They were all systems that you cannot trust. So, you know, if all of these had an influence over my life, and they were problems that I had to solve, I um, kind of have to know the game. Um, <clears throat> I tried explaining a, a great deal of the research that I've, I've found, um, but it's not in your comprehension. First of all, you can't understand anything that I'm saying. Um, there are answers to every single massive problem. This uh, Japan is like how many Hi Hiroshima's gone off daily every day this shit's happening now and our planet is only so big this is a non-stop event because nobody is shutting it down it, I mean we had the brains to shut the um, that oil leak in the Gulf much sooner. We didn't have to put uh, 
all of those chemicals in the air, this, the uh, dispersants, we left that a crime scene right in the hands of the criminals. And same thing seems to be going on with the nuclear energy. We're leaving it up to them to solve, and um, I don't think we're being told the full story. And the motivation to actually put the shit out. There seems to be an agenda to get rid of a lot of the population. Seems to me because they don't know how to make everybody on the planet happy. <laughs> but there is a way. And it is like going into a completely different dimension. Because um, it, it, think of this as you're living on hell on earth. And what we got to create is heaven on earth. So there's got to be a motivation to want to go into a different direction. And it's a direction you really want. I mean, it would be your heaven. So, and, and true problem solving means everybody wins. We don't know how to do that yet. But it doesn't mean that that information is not out there. We know how to clean up all of this toxic waste we know how to clean our oceans. We know how to get our plants back healthy. We know how to protect ourselves from the sun. We know all of this shit. All of this information is available to us as humans on this planet. And it's in that direction. But where we want to go is in that direction until we see enough people die from it that we end up saying, oh, okay, let's go that away. So, um, first you're going to have an economic system. Uh, you can't pay your bills. You're getting hungry. Um, you're losing your house after you've paid so much for it. I mean, in some way, shape, or form, the system ain't fair. And you're suffering from it. That has been our mantra for hundreds of years. Life is not fair. So when it ends up not being fair to 90% of the population and only 10% are the happy ones, Things have a way of shifting. So, I mean, the natural, you could lose your mind uh, and look like in so much pain that you look like a drunk that's homeless on the street now. That is completely non-productive. Um, not going to see too much of a bright future if you take that direction. Um, you could be really, really, really angry and then just look in jail and you'll see a lot of very, very angry people. They, you know, there's gangs mentality, there's mobs. Um, the underworld is, you know, where angry people get their guns and going to fight against the enemy. We've had wars all the time. It does not work. So, but a lot of people are going to die in that direction but that's not the right direction heaven doesn't have a war in it so it means that we actually know how to sit at a table and talk to our enemy so this is like we got to talk to the wealthiest people on the planet that are like oh let's just say they worship satan and you worship god and it's time for good and evil to have a little discussion and figure out how we're going to solve this little problem. You know, people that are loving um, can choose to create a loving world. Do not participate in evil acts, evil towards each other. I mean, we have to understand how we're connected with each other, that somebody could be in a bad mood. Um, just be affected by some traumatic event in their lives and come at you really, really mad. And they're justifiable. I mean, if I was in their shoes, I'd be just as pissed off too. And I know in my experience that I see things that aren't there when I'm pissed off. 
swear to God, I read legal documents when I was um, dealing with my legal battles. I mean, I, apparently my ex went to court without serving me and I didn't know about it. And he sent me the after effects of me owing him child support. So um, some of the information that I was reading, I mean, the words were really, really bad. And then I started to really get a phobia about reading any kind of documents to see what somebody can actually do to your life and without you even knowing about it. And um, then months later when I calmed down, it wasn't half as bad as what I thought it was, although it was like really bad. Um, so we will see things that aren't really there when you're really, really angry. And that's kind of where evil wants you to go, is be angry. I know with my friendship, I will be affected. We have a wave, um, communicate with waves and energy, and we don't know how to master the wave. And the wave is the feeling, it's the emotion. You can get caught up in somebody's anger. Somebody may say something to you that they don't really mean, um, but it'll affect you and you'll say something that you don't really mean, but it's your reaction to the negative energy that came at you because you don't know how to stop and just say, wait a minute, what's really going on here? What are you really pissed off about? Um, and have the conversation and find out that you both really care about each other. So evil the guys at the top or those that are in control of making sure all of humanity gets wiped out once you're pissed off they you know so if it ain't off the cliff because you have no clue of what direction to go into the wrong wrong direction is getting really pissed off and getting your guns i mean you have more power inside you that you don't realize um if we can affect things with energy, um, that's like scalar waves, you know, that if somebody throws you a whole pile of anger, you will respond with a whole pile of anger. You put out a massive dose of love and it has the power to create. It's never been tested before. We've never done that. We've never known what even love feels like. The only best way you can do it is loving yourself. That's where it starts from. Um, your concept of love is not exactly what somebody else's concept of love is. So you pouring out your concept on love on somebody else may do more harm than you think. So um, listen to how people love to be loved and give them that type of love but first know and love yourself and know that you're a master at this game we have the tools to solve every global problem we can change in a direction that is perfect you just got to know what perfect is um and every single person that is affected by this has the potential they you are playing a role in the solution of this so i mean are we going to let a government create our jobs or are we going to take charge of the jobs that we want to create i mean here in canada we've got this election and they're going to fund good ideas well are they really serious about good ideas what about systems that can transform all toxic waste into pure clean energy I think that's a good investment. The last time I heard one of those systems was something like $32 million, but it generates because it transforms into clean energy, clean, pure energy. You end up getting renewable, clean energy out of cleaning all of this shit up. So Canada can do things properly. It can get the ball rolling. But does Canada's government really mean what they say when they're saying job creation? You know, good green ideas, clean up the planet. We're a peaceful nation. Can we actually show what peace means? Which means some of the 
corporations that we got going on in Canada that are doing harm to other people. I've read some. It's horror. So running out of time. We got the answers. We can do this. If we can. Yes, we can do this. Peace out.